today I'm going to show you how to make this Valentine's Day themed lunch. It's vegetarian and nut free so it's perfect for school. For this sandwich I'm going to use tahini because it's nut free and I'm also going to use a jam that I got at Trader Joe's but you could use peanut butter if you like or sunflower seed butter and any kind of jam that you like. Next you're going to use your heart shaped cookie cutter and cut out the heart in just one of the slices of bread. Now you can get out your tahini or whatever spread you're using and spread it on the slice of bread that does not have the heart cut out. Then I did my jam after the tahini because I thought that it would look nice underneath so that you could see it through the heart cut out. So these are something that I just found at Trader Joe's the other day and they're called ends and pieces of the handmade dried fruit bars. So they're basically just like those fruit leather bars that you buy at Trader Joe's but it's the bits and pieces that they didn't use. So these are really great because the bag was only about $2.50 or something and you can see that there are a lot of pieces inside the bag and some of these pieces are so big I think it's each of them is a whole fruit bar. So I'm just going to use these to cut out some cute heart shapes to use in the lunch. Now I'm going to cut a piece of red pepper. You want to try to cut a flat piece. I didn't really do that here, but try to cut a flatter piece than I did. Um, and then you're just going to use the same small heart cookie cutter to cut some heart shapes out of this. The first one I did, I had the shiny side up and that was a mistake. You should do it the other way, um, like put the inside of the pepper facing up and cut them. It works a lot better. For the last section in the lunchbox, I'm using coconut chips, sunflower seeds, and the fruit leather hearts. 